So it's day 24 and it's time to harvest quite a few of these radish. Obviously I'm going to leave a few in there for the next couple of weeks so that's quite good. But it's the first time growing with a Spider Farm SF1000 and I'm pretty impressed with the results so far. So I'm going to pull these out, chuck them on a plate and we'll carry on growing. In our first Spider Farm experiment I'm going to be growing some radishes in a 20 litre fabric pot. So I'll give this a right good soaking and if need be I'll add some more water at a later stage. I'll gently drop the radish seeds in but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see this on it. Oh we are actually. And I'll thin this out a little and we can always thin it back at a later stage also. So my radish are in, so we'll give it a sprinkling of compost. Uh, again, I'll finish this off camera and I'll water those in also. It's only day one, but you can really see how the spider farmer has dried out the soil. So all I'm going to do today is ensure a good watering and we'll come back and probably just take a photo tomorrow. It's day three and I'm quite amazed at some of the growth in the radish. Nearly got some of them, nearly a centimetre high now. Quite amazing really. So it's now only day 10 and we're starting to see the first true leaves appear. I'll try and get a close up. There we are. So I don't think it's going to be too long now. Only a matter of days. Quite amazing really. Still plenty left for the next few weeks. And now it's time for a cheese and radish sandwich. <laughs> 